At the 2011 Esri International User Conference in San Diego, GeoTime asked participants of the 5K Fun Run to submit their GPS data. Runtime 2011 visualizes runners' patterns over time in order to identify key moments inside the race. Here are some observations made within GeoTime. When we turn on GeoTime's 3D temporal axes, where time is measured vertically, we can start seeing some temporal patterns emerge inside the runner's data. One of the visual elements that becomes quite apparent are the gaps between runners. What this indicates is, quite literally, time gaps between packs or runners within the race. Using GeoTime's ruler annotation, we can measure the distance between the first place runner and the last place runner within this data set in order to see where time gaps or separation occurs within the race. For example, here we see the gaps increase over time from 38 seconds to 55 seconds, finally to a one minute gap within the first turn of the race. Eventually, we see that the gaps build up over time, and at the last turn of the race, we see a seven minute gap between the first and last place runner within this data set. At the end of the race, we see that this gap builds up to 10 minutes. We can also use some of GeoTime's temporal pattern tools, such as the speed finder, in order to identify consistency and speeds within the race. For example, we see our top recorded speed within this data set at 20.6 kilometers held for about three seconds. We see another runner run at about 18.8 .8 kilometers for about 27 seconds throughout the race. And when we look at the same runner's data for the rest of the race, we can see that they held a consistent speed for about 18 minutes. They were able to hold this speed not just at, in straightaways but at several turns throughout the race. Lastly of interest was the change in positions throughout the race. As we play back the runner's movements throughout time we can visualize these changes. The first change in, at, in, at the leadership position occurs around this point in time. And we can see that Levy becomes the leader at this point. He maintains this position throughout the race, but other runners within the pack change as well. For example, Chuck moves to third place at just over a halfway point of the race. These positions remain fairly constant. However, the last two runners change positions several times throughout the race. Here, at this point, and then at another point right after the turn. Finally, Michael overlaps Curtis towards the final stretch of the race. We'd like to thank everyone who submitted their data this year for Runtime 2011. We look forward to seeing you at next year's conference and hope that you submit your data for Runtime 2012.